Hello, Pioneers. Welcome back. We have a lot lined up for you today that you've got to see. We hope you stick around because we're bringing you new episodes every week. This is our official Fort Center YouTube channel, so make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you never miss the next episode. Now, now let's, let's get, get on, on to Fort, Fort Center. Center. Today we're here with Zach Morris for our Senior Spotlight. So Zach, how would you describe your last year here at the Fort? Uh, it's definitely been different. This year we uh, made it to the second round of playoffs in football, so that was pretty cool. Well, that's awesome. And what's your plans for the future? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Uh, hopefully going into A-Track and moving out of Wythe County. <laughs> Throughout your entire high school career, is there anything you have done differently? Um, mm -mm. <laughs> and what's something you wish you had known or that someone would have told you before your senior year? Uh, my brother Anthony told me that it'd go by fast and last, it just seemed like I was a freshman. And lastly, what message do you have for upcoming seniors? Uh, just enjoy it while you can because it goes by pretty fast. That's definitely true. Well, thank you, Zach, and best of luck for your senior year. Hey, guys, I'm here with the weather forecast for this week. Monday, it's supposed to be low 60s with 30% chance of rain. Tuesday, all the same, but just a little bit colder with a more higher chance of rain. Wednesday through Friday, it's mid 50s with a low chance of rain. Very cloudy the entire week, and it's going to be very windy. Thanks, Miguel. Yeah, it's been really hot and really cold for the past couple of weeks now. And now it's really hot, I and mean, it's pretty windy too, as you can see by the flag behind me. And I mean, it's Virginia, you know, what do you expect? Hey, welcome back to Fit of the Week. My name's Elizabeth Ann. And I'm Jenna. For this week's Fit of the Week, we have Graceland Alderman. Graceland, where's the fit from? Um, the top is from Amazon. This belt is my mom's from the 90s. Um, these pants are from American Eagle, and these shoes are from Converse. I love that store. How many shoes do you have? I actually have seven pairs of Converse. That's a bit excessive. What's your favorite pair? These ones I'm wearing right now. Tell us about the idea you had for the fit. Um, well, my favorite color is purple, so I just kind of wanted to like coordinate that. And I wanted to wear these shoes because they're my favorite. So. And that's all we have for today. Thank you for joining us on Fort Center. We'll be back next time. Hey, Pioneers, welcome back. I'm Maggie. And I'm Eva. Yes, what, Pioneers, only 21 days till spring break. Don't forget to use if you're going on the Dollywood trip. It's only $60 to go and money is due to Miss Walters by April 10th. Also, seniors, the JVG trip is March 21st if you're going. If you're going, dress business casual, no blue jeans. Think about going to after prom? Turn in your after prom forms by March 12th. Or we won't let you win. That's all, pioneers. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to see more Fort Center videos. Bye. <laughs> Today, we are here with Trey Tomlinson, who placed at state last year for track, and Leighton Kennedy, who went to state. <laughs> and so Trey, how is your season going? Or going, how is it going to go? It's going pretty well right now. You know, we're just doing preseason stuff. That's good. That's good. What events are you doing this year? Uh, long jump, triple jump, high jump, four by one, possibly the four by four and the four hundred if we have a four by four team. All right. And do you hope to make state this year? And if so, are you going to place? Yes, I think so. I think so. I'll make it to state and probably place again. All right. Very good. Layton, what events are you doing this year? I probably run 100, 4 by one long jump, 200, all that good stuff. So you do everything? But yeah, something like okay. that. Okay. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about three years. Okay. Do you think you'll be able to get make state? Oh, yeah. How do you think you'll do? I think I'll win it. Get me a fat ring. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Layton, for the interview. Thank oh, you, Trey. Yeah, no problem. Hello, my name is Andrew Smallwood. My name is Austin Kirby. And welcome back to Sport and Entertainment News Around the World. Our first topic today, to begin with the regular seasons of NBA, WNBA basketball, as well as NHL ice hockey, as well as NCAA basketball are still underway with March Madness just around the corner. Now with news in motorsports, on May 24th through the 26th, one of the biggest and most exciting races in the Formula One calendar will be taking place, the Monaco Grand Prix, where some of the most popular celebrities come from around the world to watch this highly intense race. Hopefully we'll finally see the hometown hero, Charles Leclerc, win. The NFL Scouting Combine will be held from February 26th to March 4th at Lucas Oil Stadium. In case you didn't know, the NFL Scouting Combine is to help NFL teams get a better look at the top prospects before the upcoming NFL draft. Now in the news, now it's the next part of the news, we have the Masters Tournament, which will be held on Monday, April 8th to Sunday, April 14th, which will be held at Au Augustus National Golf Club. This has been Sports Entertainment News Around the World. See you next time. 
Hey, welcome back to the music segment. This segment's gonna be a little bit different. I Meaning we're gonna be interviewing random people about their music taste. Next week, it will resume to the regular album reviews though. Sydney, what's your favorite song? Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. All right, who introduced you to that song? I just heard it at a youth group when I was really young. Oh, why do you like it? Because it talks about God's love. That's a good song. Mm-hmm. I'm Ethan, I'm here with Elijah. What's your favorite song, Elijah? White Lightning by Up Church. Who introduced you to that song? Logan Blair. Why do you like Up Church so much? Because he just speaks truth and speaks his mind. That's good. Thanks for watching and stick around for the next episode. And again, if you want to be interviewed or have any suggestions, reach out to any of our emails or just talk to us in the hall, except Pablo. Hey, I'm Sadie. And I'm Josie. And we're back highlighting women's sports. This week, we'll be interviewing a women's basketball and tennis player. First up, we have Lily Goforth, number three on the basketball team. Hey, Lily, how does it feel to ha- that we had a shot at state? Really good. That's great. And what was a motivating factor for you this season? Taking big dubs. Thank you so much, and great job. Next up, we have Lexi Edmonds from the tennis team. Hi, Lexi. Are you excited for the upcoming season? Yes, very. Do you think y'all will make it to state again this year? I do, because we do not have a lot of competition. I can't wait to see all the accomplishments you all will achieve this year. Thank you so much, Lexi, and good luck this season. And that's a wrap for the women's sports segment. See you all next time. Thank you for watching episode two of Ford Center. Tune in next week for episode three.